always take your props off. Whenever you're working at the bench or configuring, take those props off. Always be safe. Today, I'm going to show you how to wire and hook up, configure, and enjoy your LEDs. What we use, they are called WS2812B. That's the name of the strips. And what that is is just individually addressable LED bulbs. We can talk to each one, change the color, make them dance, do all kinds of cool stuff. These particular ones that I use, uh, they come on a reel, like this. I can cut them to however length, even cut them to individual LEDs. Um, you'll notice there is a 5 volt data in and ground. On the other side there's 5 volt data out and ground. And that way we can keep chaining them up and wire them to our quadcopters or anything else for that matter. They also come as PCB boards, kind of like this. Um, sometimes they'll have a plug, sometimes it's solder pads. Uh, a lot of different options out there if you just look around and do some searching. Um, many, many options. Some even have beepers built in. Handy. But for today, I'm going to show you what I use. This is what actually connects to the flight controller. Um, that's going to be my first bulb. Actually, I'm sorry, here at the back. This is my first bulb. We want to remember the wiring order because that's what we need to tell Betaflight. So this is bulb number one, or LED number one. Can't stop saying bulb. So on and so forth. You get the picture. Chains off and comes into the data in pin here and then that wraps around comes out goes back through all nice and neatly to here those run through so on and so forth so with all that boring talk let's show you how to set them up uh, first thing you will need you will need a flight battery and you will probably want your transmitter flight battery is there because the USB cord does not always power the bulbs, the LEDs, whatever you want to call them. So there's that. Let's connect. We're going to go to our configuration tab. First thing we're going to do is find uh, other features and we are going to activate the LED strip toggle switch right there. Click save and reboot. Ta-da! But as you can tell we don't have enough RX power now due to his alarm. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in. And to get rid of that. Okay. After that we will reconnect and you will see the LED strip tab now. We're going to go there and the first thing we have to do is tell Betaflight our wiring order. I'm going to click wiring order mode. It turns our grid green and we're going to start where your LEDs start. Mine starts right there and I'll pick a position on the grid right here looks looks pretty good first one always starts at zero for some reason. But I have four on each arm. And I wrap around to the other side of this rear panel. So we will make that here. The two at the very rear. And the last one on the side. And then those wrap around to my other rear arm. And it starts on the inside. And four. And then from there, I jump to the front arm. Then we go to the last arm from there. And from the last arm, it comes back in and feeds the front here. It wraps around and ends. 
we'll put those here. And save. Okay, now we can go through and let's assign colors to the front. So we'll just start here at this arm. I'm going to go up to LED functions. Scroll down a little bit. You can see right there, currently sent to none. We will just put it as color. And we will select teal to match his motors. And we're going to do this to all of them. set up his rear. So let's do the rear arms. We will put color and then on the rear let's activate color modifier and activate the throttle. It'll put a little orange dot there at the bottom to give you an idea. And now whatever color we select will be our middle throttle range. Low throttle will be the color before, high throttle will be the color after. So let's set his up to turn from teal to kind of a purple. So we will make those a blue. And we will do that with all the ones on the rear arms. The color, activate the throttle, and we'll make that blue. Okay, so now we have the back three LEDs of each arm that will adjust to the throttle. We'll set his rear lights as red. That's normally how I set mine up. Kind of like a brake light. And for the sides, We'll go ahead and just make his whole bar red. Let's do that. And click save. And now you can see all our LEDs have changed colors. Red in the back. And we should have throttle control to the rear three on each arm. If I raise his throttle stick, uh, helps if you have your transmitter on. And let's plug in battery. Can you see how those change? Actually, here, let me. You can see the throttle better in the background. Okay. So those are cool. So now, you can set up Larson scanners, which is kind of like that Knight Rider LED. Let me show you what those will do here real fast. Let's go ahead and you basically select the LED that you want and just highlight Larson scanner and let's do that with his front arms and see what happens sometimes you just gotta get it in here and start playing around with the options seeing what you can do you can set up warnings for low battery you can have them blink or different stuff um, you can set up an arm state so when you switch an arm it will 
change lights to arm state. Let's see what this does. So we have Larson scanner activated on the front arms. We'll click save. And now you can see what it does. And it will go in sequence. So as you can see it's kind of kind of funny looking there, but it's options to play with. So I think I'm going to take that off. You have options to set VTX colors depending on what channel you're running. Um, will you can hook up Smart Audio and change colors there. Uh, there's there's a lot to do. Indicators will kind of be a blinker. So if we uh, here, let's, let's make this one a blinker. That one a blinker. And I do believe you need to indicate what side of the copter it's on. So we'll click west. Make that one east. Let's click save, and that should activate a blinker when I pitch or I'm sorry when I roll to the left it'll blink when I roll to the right the other side will blink and We'll add that to his front arms too. Indicator. Indicator. I'll make it the west side so it knows that it's the left side of the copter. And we'll do the same thing over here. Indicator on the east. Indicator on the east. And let's do it with his side ones too. Make it an east facing bulb. And turn indicator on. We've got a west facing. And indicator. Let's click save. And now, when I roll to the left, you can see the left side's blinking. And when we roll to the right, right side blinks. And depending on how fast you're turning, if you're turning a little bit, it goes slow. Full stick, it goes fast. Go the other way. Full stick. Pretty cool. And then we also have warnings. So let's set up his tail lights with some warnings. And then when we get low battery and things like that, that will blink the rear lights. Very cool. Alright guys, get in there, play around with them, and see what you can do. All kinds of options. Colors are endless. Have fun. Let's just face it. They're cool. Peace out for now, guys.